Hello my friends, Hank here, and today we're going to learn how to pin up the iconic American P-51 Mustang in the markings of the famed Tuskegee Airmen of the 332nd Fighter Group, better known as the Red Sails. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of P-51 kit you've got at home, we don't need any special decals or parts for this, just a few select paints, and we'll be in business. So, before we jump into the tutorial, let's run through a list of what we need. Up first, of course, is a P-51 kit. I'm using the 148 scale kit from Tamiya. The Tuskegee men also flew P-51Cs and P-47s that would have been adorned with red tails as well, so you could steal these techniques for those aircraft also. For our paints, we're going to need some Vallejo Black Primer. We're going to need some Vallejo Chrome, some Vallejo White Aluminum, Ammo Red, a bit of Ammo Zinc Chromate Yellow, a little ammo olive drab base, and of course, let's grab our trusty Tamiya 8mm masking tape. All right, let's get into it. Now, to start out here, I've gone ahead and built up my model, and I've sprayed the whole kit in our flat black primer to give us a nice base coat to start with. A few things to note here. Our cockpit interior has been fully painted up and masked off, so that'll stay safe through the exterior paint process here. And I've left our canopy and windscreen off as well. For our first color, we're going to paint the entire outside of our aircraft in Vallejo Chrome. This will give us that beautiful, bright, natural metal finish shine of these late war US aircraft. Whew, gotta pop our sunglasses on there. Nice and shiny. Our canopy frames are going to be painted in this chrome as well, so make sure you hit those during this step also. Alright, next, for a little variation in our overall metallic scheme here, I've masked off the access hatches for the Mustang's armament, as well as a couple of the side panels on the fuselage here. And we're going to spray those with a little Vallejo white aluminum. It won't look too different at first, but once we get the masks off there, it does help break up our chrome quite nicely. All right, next we're going to mask off the upper nose of our P-51 to add our anti-glare strip here. Even with these aircraft being left in the natural metal finish for the final years of the war, the upper surfaces of the fuselage ahead of the pilot was still painted in OD to help cut down on that shine. Can't be blinding our pilots here. So rule of thumb for masking here, there's going to be a central panel line going down the nose of the aircraft. You should see a rivet on either side of that just before the nose cone. Go one more set of rivets out and that's where we want to start our olive drab strip. And then we're going to mask that all the way in a straight line back to the bottom most point of the windscreen. Once we're all masked up evenly, we can spray that in in olive drab. And once that's dry, we can carefully peel off our masks there. All right, lovely. Okay, so next step, we are going to paint in two yellow stripes, one on either wing. For guidance here, let's look at the backmost panel on the inside of our wings just before the flaps here. And we're going to see three points. We're going to mask off the area in between the outermost and inside marks here. Now, I'll admit I made a mistake here. I should have left the landing gear off and painted that in separately because these yellow stripes extend on the bottom of the wings as well. But because I can't get access to the gear covers, I can't mask them off properly. So do as I say, not as I do. If you do want to continue these yellow stripes on the bottom of the aircraft as well, just line them up accordingly, mask off the bottom, and repeat the process down there. If you do make any mistakes on your masking at any time, my first attempt on these stripes is a little wonky. You can just mask over the stripe, straighten out the line a little bit by spraying some chrome on there. No harm, no foul. All right, it's finally time for some of that beautiful red paint. We need to paint three places here. Our tail, of course, our wingtips, and our nose cone. For our wingtips, just follow along the panel lines and mask off those outermost tips of the wings. For our tail, we're going to start our mask where the spine of our tail meets the fuselage, and that's going to flow backwards in a straight line towards the smaller rectangular vertical panel directly under the horizontal stabilizer, and our mask is going to anchor right on the foremost bottom corner of that little panel. And our nose cone can be removed, so we don't need to worry about masking anything off there. It is helpful to leave the individual propeller blades off until after this step, though. Our whole nose cone is red, so easy enough. Let's go ahead and spray all of our red bits in, and then we can pop those masks off. Now, at this point, that's all the special paintwork we're going to need to do to achieve this red tail scheme. The rest of our finish process, the detailed brush painting work, the decaling, the weathering, etc., can be done in the same manner that you usually would. For the decals here, I just used the kit supplied decals from Tamiya. Our national insignia goes on as instructed, and then I chose the number 4 decal for our ship number. I'm not trying to reproduce an exact individual historical aircraft here, but looking at archival images of the 332nd Mustangs, often you'll see them with just a single number for the ship code. Nothing fancy. Also worth noting, all the images I've seen of the Red Tails P-51s don't show them having a tail code. It seems as though those were painted right over. I'm not sure why, but that does save us a step. 
So with that said, go ahead, finish up your kit, decals, weathering, and boom, you've got yourself a stunning Red Tails Mustang to add to your collection. No special decals or parts required. I hope you guys enjoyed this little lesson. I had a blast building her up. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Please be sure to subscribe right here for new scale modeling tutorials each and every week. And until next time, my friends, be well, happy building, cheers.